Hello, boys and girls. My name is John. Today, we are going to talk about two different kinds of food. Good food and bad food. I have some food right beside me. Let's see if we can figure out if it's good food or bad food. Now, on the package, we see two happy kids. But, we're smart, aren't we? We know that sometimes people tell lies. The corporation that made this soup might be lying to us. The way we can tell if they are lying to us is by reading the ingredients. The ingredients is the list with all the words where you can find out what the soup is made of. So let's read the list of ingredients. Chicken broth. Whoop! Right away we know this is bad food. How do you think we know that? That's right, because someone was hurt during the making of this soup. Do you know who was hurt? That's right! Chickens were hurt. So always remember, boys and girls, when you see the word chicken in a list of ingredients, then you don't eat that because chickens are our friends, not food. Let's read on, see what else is in this soup. Egg noodles, another no-no. Eggs come from chickens and we have no right to use animals for anything because they are our friends. There's also Seasoned chicken, chicken fat, mechanically separated chicken meat, monosodium glutamate. Oh, that's terrible stuff. Very bad for you. Bad for chickens and bad for us. Fortunately, we don't need to eat soup from a can anyway. We can make our own soup from fresh ingredients. Let's do that. Let's make some soup. Today, we are going to make some delicious lentil soup with lots of vegetables. See here, we have broccoli and sweet potatoes, onions, celery, carrots, our red lentils, some brown and wild rice, and then for a little bit of extra flavor, some low sodium vegetable bouillon cubes. Mmm, this is going to be delicious soup! First, we crumble the vegetable bouillon cube and put it in the soup. Now we'll add some carrots. Ooh, boy. Now for some sweet potato. Now it's time for some onion. Now we'll add in some, some of the red lentils. Now we'll add in some brown and wild rice. We can add in some spices too. Here's some oregano. A little bit of dill, some curry. I think we'll add in some tofu as well to make it extra super duper delicious. Soup is a great opportunity to be very creative with food. Look how colorful and beautiful. And we'll add in a little bit of liquid soy seasoning. Give it a little stir. And then let that come to a boil. By the way, always remember to get a grown-up to chop up the vegetables because knives are very sharp and dangerous. The number one rule in life is safety first. Our soup has now come to a boil. I'll give a little stir. And then we can turn the temperature down to minimum. Put the lid on. And let that simmer. Mmm, it's going to be great. Let's look at something else and we'll figure out if it's good food or bad food. Let's read the ingredients. This is chocolate pudding. Ingredients. Skim milk. Oh, right away we know that this is not good food, is it? It's bad food. Do you know why we know it's bad food? That's right, because someone was hurt 
during the making of this pudding. Do you know who was hurt? Moo! That's right, cows were hurt. Whenever you see the word milk in a list of ingredients, they mean cow's milk. But we have no right to use cows for anything because cows are our friends and cow's milk is for baby cows. The milk comes out of the udders and the babies suckle on the udders to get the milk. But then mean farmers take the babies away to veal farms and they kill the babies and eat them. And that's not nice, is it? So always remember, say no to milk because milk is cruel to cows. Let's see what else is in this pudding. Ooh, hydrogenated palm oil. Whenever you see the word hydrogenated, that means don't eat it. Hydrogenated oils are not natural. They're very bad for you. Whenever you see a word in a list of ingredients, then don't eat it until you do some research because you are very special, you are beautiful, and you need to take care of yourself. So don't ever eat anything if you don't know what it is. Have your mommy or your daddy help you do some research on the internet. Type in things like hydrogenated oil and see what it is and monosodium glutamate. Type that in and do some research. And if your mommy or daddy gives you something, say, can you read the ingredients to me in case the big, there are some big words and you don't understand them? Okay, that's very important. We don't need to eat this disgusting pudding anyway. We can make our own pudding with fresh ingredients. Making chocolate pudding is very, very easy. All you need is a few ingredients. You need a banana, a pear, you can add in some tofu for extra protein, and then organic fair trade cocoa powder. Okay, so we'll put everything in the blender, the banana, and the pear, and the tofu, a tablespoon of the organic fair trade cocoa powder. Now we put the lid on, and always remember to get a grown up to help you with the blender, because blenders can be dangerous. Now we pour it into a bowl. The pudding doesn't need to chill at all. You could eat it right away. But I'm going to be a good boy and eat my supper before I have my dessert. So I'm going to put the pudding in the fridge for later. My roommate drinks milk from cows, but as we know, we have absolutely no right to take milk from cows because cow's milk is for cow babies. Plus, this is full of saturated fat and cholesterol. For calcium, you can drink calcium-fortified beverages like juice, soy milk. This almond milk has 20% calcium per 250 milliliters. You can also have calcium set tofu and soybeans, broccoli and dark leafy greens like collards, kale, okra, and mustard greens are fantastic sources of calcium as well. I like to turn my dark leafy greens into something called green smoothies or hulk shakes. My favorite green in my green smoothies is kale, but today I don't have any kale, so I'm going to use spinach. To make a hulk shake, you put greens in the blender, then you can put fruits. Here's some honeydew melon and some apple and I'm also going to add a banana. Then we add some filtered tap water and then we blend. Now we pour the Hulk shake into a glass. Cheers my friends. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. I love Hulk shakes so much. They're my favorite drink. Did you ever notice, boys and girls, that all the biggest, strongest animals on planet Earth eat lots of leaves, like elephants and gorillas and giraffes? Well, when you drink Hulk shakes, you're consuming lots of leaves and they make your bones and muscles very strong. Mm. Ah.
Look at how strong Hulk sticks make me. Rawr! Rawr! I'm so strong because I drink my fruits and vegetables. Okay, boys and girls, let's see how the soup's coming along. Oh, wow. That looks so delicious. Boys and girls, thank you very much for visiting with me today while I made some delicious vegan food. There it is. This is going to be the best supper ever. I have the delicious vegan soup. Let's have a taste of that. Mmm. Ah, wonderful. And then we have our Hulk shake. Fantastic. And of course, the extra fantastic chocolate pudding. Mmm.